All right, this is a continuation of the previous video. Uh, so if you haven't seen part one of returns, make sure you go and watch that one first. In the last video, what we did was we recorded a purchase and a payment. So we went to a supplier, we bought some spring water on credit, and then we paid them for the full balance owing. We then recorded John coming into our store and buying on credit $840 of water. On the same day, he's come back into the store and he's told us that half of what he bought was rancid and has to be thrown out. So we've offered to credit him for the full amount. Now, when you're recording a credit note, which is what this is, it's a sales return, that's the same thing as a credit note, there are two steps. The first step is to record the credit note. All right, now we did that by going into the sales command center enter sales, filling all of this out, and we had a negative in the amount column for $420. After recording that, you go to the sales register, returns and credits, and you'll find the credit note that you did sitting here with a little negative sign in front of it. The second step is the tying together step. So what we're doing with the second step is we're telling Myob that this sale and this credit note are tied together. We want the credit note to reduce the amount that John owes us. If we don't do that, then our records will still show John owing us $840. <clears throat> so the way we do it, uh, if they haven't paid us yet, is by clicking apply to sale. Be very careful to check the date for this one. So it's the 6th. And then we, of course, need to click in the amount applied column. So what that's going to do is reduce this total due on invoice 1101 by the amount we're applying, so 420. And record. That's done. So we've now finished all of one and all of two. Now, <clears throat> uh, for question three here, What's happened is um, we have taken note of the fact that for uh, $420 of the water that we bought from Cool Springs up here was rancid when we got it. Now, maybe it's our fault for not checking the stock and making sure that it was all uh, in good condition when we received it. But even so, it is Cool Springs Proprietary Limited's fault. They should not have sold us rancid water. So <clears throat> on the 7th of June, after John has advised us that there's an issue with this stock, we aggressively assault the warehouse of Cool Springs Proprietary Limited and we demand a refund for the full cost of the water. So we're going to try and recover this $420 that we just uh, credited John. So the difference between a debit note and a credit note is only the command center that you do it in. So we just did a credit note by going into enter sales and recording a negative. So how are we going to do a debit note? We'll go into enter purchases and do a negative in there. Cool Springs on the 7th of June. I'm going to call it debit note one. <clears throat> and we're receiving refund for rancid water. Okay, uh, the account is just going to be the same account we used when we purchased the water. The amount will be how much of the refund we're going to get as a negative. And there is GST on this product, so we're going to have GST ticked. Okay, so we can record that one. Now. There was two steps for a credit note. There are two steps for a debit note. So step one, record the debit note. Step two, tying together step. So we've recorded the debit note now, that, that's done. But we need to tell Myob that this refund we're about to receive is related to this original purchase. Now, the way we do that is very similar. Um, we go into the purchases register, we go to returns and debits, 
and you'll find the debit note for the negative here. For the credit note, what we did was we applied to sale. So this button here, or at least the sales equivalent of this button. <clears throat> We're not going to choose that option this time. The reason being that we have already paid for this purchase. See here, on the 5th of June, we paid Cool Springs for the full balance owing on this purchase order. So if you've already paid, then you choose this one, receive refund. Because if we've given them money, then we need to get money back. If we hadn't given them money, then we would choose this one. So we're gonna go ahead and click receive refund. Now, if we're getting cash, which we are, uh, here we are. Under duress, the managers of Cool Springs Proprietary Limited provided us with a full refund and we'll assume they gave us cash. We'll group with undeposited funds. Change the date. Payment method was cash and record. So we're almost done. We've, we've received the refund now. Uh, we've tied it together with the debit note. That's done. But because we received cash, we should go ahead and put that into the bank. Right, so hopefully you were able to follow that. Um, just to sum up and recap, you can do credit notes in the sales command center with a negative invoice. You can do debit notes in the purchases command center with a negative purchase order. After you've recorded the note, you have to go into the relevant register, the returns and debits tab, and choose one of these options. You'll choose the apply to purchase or apply to sale option if we haven't paid them yet, or if they haven't paid us yet in the case of a sale. You'll choose the receive refund or pay refund option if uh, we have paid them for a purchase and we need the money back, or they have paid us and we need to issue them with some money. So hopefully you're able to follow that. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me in class.